I wanted to touch on, you know, going into a locker room with Braun, seeing that you guys are natural born leaders, your guys' mindset, your, the attention to detail, your discipline, your hunger to win. What was it like collabing, you know, obviously with one of the greatest players of all time from a mental standpoint? It was yeah, it was a hell of an experience, you know. Like I said, I was uh, he was very vocal this year in film uh, as far as helping the young guys understand what, what they need to be and where, where we need to be as a team. So uh, I was like I said, I was learning uh, on the fly on the court, you know, just picking his brain, studying him, his, his body of work, the way he moves. When I go back and watch film, I used to always watch film of myself, and then I watch film of uh, of him, AD. You know what I mean? Just understand where they want the ball, where they're great at. So that's just um, you know, that's just kind of how my mindset was going into it. Like I said, but to be able to play with him and pick his brain daily and understand his discipline of, of what he's done to be able to become, you know, so dominant in year 17. It's uh, it, was, it was fun to watch. It was. Great to be next to and understanding like, okay, this is elite. You know, I, I played with so many elite players at, at a high level. Damn near, I would say more than 15 first ballot Hall of Famers. So, um, you know, to see the, you know, the best at the best, uh, it, it was a hell of a ride these last couple of years. Just, you know what I'm saying, just watching them. You came in and picked up where you left off which was crazy to me after six week off and a broken thumb. You like you said a, a third a third surgery on <laughs> on the same hand. Tell me what it was like being a younger player in the playoffs and then your mentality as a 15 year vet or a 14 year vet and coming back and knowing exactly where you need to be and how you can affect the game in the most because you put up solid numbers but just your presence on the court allowed LeBron to kind of exhale a little bit and you were able to run the show on both sides of the floor. Well, I mean, like I said, that's, you know, to sum it up, really, that's just about trust. You know what I mean? Like, Brian was able to trust me, and I told him, you know what I mean? Like, I got you. You know what I mean? I'm, I damn sure don't want to let anybody down, myself down, but I'm not going to let anybody down. It's, I'm going to make mistakes, but, you know, if I make a mistake, I'm probably going to make up for it two times in the next two or three minutes. So it's just, that was just my mindset and just having energy and, and want to become, uh, you know, the best player on the court. You know, even with him on the court, my mindset is to be the best player on the court at all times. And, um, I was able to do that, like I said, with trust of my teammates and, and my coaching staff. So I have to give them credit. But just having a mindset, like I said, when I was 21 in the playoffs, going to get going at it, you know, I had three greats, you know, a lot of other great teammates. So I had three greats behind me, and I knew they had my back from day one. So uh, I did have to earn their respect, which, you know, is obviously expected, which was not a problem. But having them behind me, understanding, like, you know, they they gave me leeway. You know, they, they pumped the confidence in me. I saw those guys work at, a, at an early age. and it was only right that I follow suit, you know what I mean? Like I said, having that competitive drive, wanting to win, I was able to learn, you know, some, some of the things I had and put it with theirs and just pick each one of their brains, you know, the P.J. Browns, uh, Keon mm. Dooms. Like, I had a lot of great vets, mm. Sam Cassell, Tyron Lou. Uh, so they were on me daily, and they helped me grow. And then fast forward 15 years later, for 14 years later, um, you know what I mean? I was able to just come back, you know, with the grace of God, you know, like I said, I broke my hand. And then I was supposed to play in the Portland series, 30 minutes for a tip off, my back locked up. I'm out another week. So I missed that series completely. So I'm thinking like, damn, you know, I've been out for seven months. <laughs> I'm coming right back in the heat. Let's go back to Braun, uh, Rondo. Give me sure. one thing that you could say you actually learned from the Kang. I call him the K-A-N-G, the Kang. I mean, I, I'll go, I might have to say it's discipline. Mm. I just think it's discipline, y'all. Like I said, he got the best guy working on his body in the game. Uh, and everything you do is, you know, is, is routine, you know, strategically routine, as far as rest, diet, you know what I mean, like from top to bottom. Um, only person other than that was KG, but like I said, LeBron, his, the way he's daily doing exactly what he needs to be doing it is unmatched. So it's it like shows. You, 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 I can tell you that, but you can't really understand it until you like see it like, damn, like I see him every day, like, and he's, he ain't taking no shortcuts, like shit, mm. he own it, locked in. Mm, love it. So. Putting them days together. What was it like yeah. going from being a Boston Celtic to winning a championship for the Lakers the year Kobe passes? It, it was a lot. Uh, this was the uh, emotional roller coaster year. Uh, winning it, you know, for Kobe, the year Kobe passes is, is unreal. It's something you can imagine. Obviously, me playing against him in a couple finals. Uh, you know, in the in the same uniform, so um, it, it was it was a tough one. Uh, like I said we all understood the, the, the mindset and the goal of what we had, to, what we were trying to attain, and who we were doing it for. So uh, to be able to, you know, kind of like you said, 
say that and, and, and full circle accomplish your goal, uh, it, it was a real moment and it's definitely something we, you know we'll be grateful for. I'm sure the rest of our life. So it was a dope moment. It's been mm -hmm. a, it's been a dope moment despite everything else. You know what I mean? Just being able to uh, share some light in that in that aspect. I mean, it's been amazing to me. You know, people talk about this should be an asterisk. To me, this should be a gold star, considering what the world was going through, what you guys had to go through to, to, to get in the bubble and, and stay safe and still carry your message and still be away from your family. To me, the game is 90% mental. Once you get to this level, everyone can pretty much do everything. So who mentally, like you said, with bronze discipline, or who can really lock in for this time and understand the task at hand? So for all those people that say, oh, this is an asterisk, this shit, and then, I mean, fuck that. This got to be a gold star, considering yeah. how fucked up it how fucked up a year 2020 has been as a whole. Absolutely. I can't wait to wear my ring. I'm just going to wear more than I wore my last one. Both of them, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>